Yeah, hi, my name is Hego from uh, Pardo Yachts Miami, and this is uh, Pardo 50. So come on on board. Tell me more about the company, where these are from. So Pardo Yachts are uh, all made in Italy, in uh, Forli, which is actually just one hour, hour and a half from uh, Venice, Italy. Uh, Pardo has been making uh, sailing yachts over 40 years now. It's, uh, the line is called Grand Soleil, and Pardo Yachts has uh, now been available for people to purchase for the last three, four years. So part of 43 actually right over there was the very first uh, motor yacht part of made. And uh, the next one was part of 50. And now the smallest, uh, smallest in the lineup is part of 38, which is also the uh, European Powerboard of the Year winner. But yeah, this is the part of 50. Underneath over here, you have a garage. So it fits a tender, like a Williams jet tender or a Gillies tender fits three people so we can come back to that later and maybe show you from outside you can see how big the tender is but uh, over here you have a big lounge area it's very important on this kind of a boat to kind of have a place for everybody for entertainment so yeah this is the sunbed over here you have a dining area with a table that opens up so you can easily sit 10 people around the desk and if you if you don't want to if you don't want to use it as a table you can lower it all the way down it has cushions that come on top and then you can watch tv watch a watch a movie or news or whatever you like and when you don't need it we can just if you look at it we can just put the tv fold away So now it's... I like the way this opens up. I've never seen that before. Yeah. So it looks yeah. like a, like origami. It's like an origami, exactly, yeah. And it uh, rotates so it becomes like a... Oh, oh, it square. rotates around? Correct, so it becomes like a big square, yeah. So if we go over here... Oh, wow. So awesome. now it becomes like a big square table that you can have a bunch of people sitting over here. Yeah. And again, this whole thing goes back down I've never seen anything like that. That's extremely innovative the way that's yeah. made. Yeah, so. And it locks back into place. Also, you have uh, fridge drawers underneath the whole seating area. One is over here, one is over there, and they're one on each side as well. So you have four of them actually over here. So plenty of places to keep your drinks. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see, like right over here. Yeah. Over here, you have a you have a sink over here, so you can do all your dishes and things like that. All the trash can be placed right over here. Big trash bin. Then over here, you have a cooktop with two two hole burner. Again, this can all be customized to customers customers liking. It can be a barbecue over here, whatever you basically like. Over here, you have another fridge. This one is uh, slightly bigger than the drawers. You can have some food over here or bigger, bigger bottles. And over here, for all the drinks, you need ice. So you have white ice maker over here. Makes fresh ice all the time. Keeps your drinks even cooler. <laughs> uh, all the business thing happens over here. So this, uh, this part of 50 is powered by IPS 800s, uh, 650 horsepower each engine. And it cruises around 28 knots, maxes out at 32 knots. And it's because uh, of the shape of the hull, it's a deep V. It's a very dry boat and can handle you know, rough seas very, very well. Like we've been out with it on 10 foot waves and you, you can sit comfortably here and have a nice decent conversation no problem whatsoever plus this one is equipped with a gyro which is a stabilizer that keeps the boat uh, kind of like leveled either you're in anchor or if you're in a rougher water so what brand is that it's a quick quick oh. it's an italian brand so it's a uh, it's similar to like the sea keeper right, that's all you always but it's about. just an italian so yeah quick quick yes uh, over here, you have all the controls for your lighting. You have your uh, uh, Garmin grid system, which basically allows you to control the panels over here 
the, uh, the, uh, the controllers over here. So if it is choppy or C, you don't have to kind of aim your finger at anything. But yeah, over here you have uh, cameras. This vessel has cameras on the water which show the propellers on both sides, the starboard side and port side props. You have, you know, a windlass or the anchor system has a camera, so it shows you how the camera goes down, how it comes back up. You have cameras for, for engine room, for facing forward, facing backwards. And you have a uh, FLIR, which is kind of like a night vision camera. You can move that around with your finger and you can see everything that is happening kind of like in front of you. So you can see there's, so if it would be pitch black right now, yeah, you would amazing. be able to see everything. And you can program it the way that it rotates around and whenever it finds something, it stops, so. Let me ask you this, like with this kind of system, is there anything where it's able to, uh, you're able to see that remotely from your smartphone if you're away from the boat? Yes, so actually, because it's Garmin system, so Garmin has an Active Captain uh, app, so you can actually connect your phone to the boat and you can sit in a sunbed or you can sit uh, in the back over there and you can see whatever is happening on the screens over here. You can't control them, right. but you can, it but even, mirrors. Even if you were away in another country, you could still see what's happening if you had it. So you could actually, yeah, there are systems now that you can integrate into the boat that it logs into a boat's Wi-Fi, and because boat ha boat has its own Wi-Fi, and it tells you if the bilge pumps are off or if some electrical issues or whatever, it tells you what's, what's happening with the boat, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is kind of the, it's IPS drive, so it's very simple to drive with it because you basically, it's like a video game. Anybody could drive with that boat, so yeah. Then, moving forward, okay. you have another big lounge area right over here. And here, you can easily sit two people, you know, here, two people over here. And inside a lank, uh, anchor locker, you have actually a table that comes out. This table becomes, you know, another area where you can easily sit and have a, have a drink or appetite over here or whatever you like. So, yeah. And so this is technically a center console, right? It is a center console, yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's... I haven't seen one like this. Yeah. I like it. So it's one of a kind. <laughs> and throughout the boat, you have, uh, like, pin lights that kind of set the mood. So it's... It's beautiful. As well as these pop-up lights, which I like. Yeah, the pop-up lights. You can always push them back down yeah. if you want to. Push them down, you can twist them, and then they, they lock, lock and just turn it around. Pick up. It's great. Yeah. Then you have these massive cleats yeah, that come out whenever you, whenever you need it, and go back down when you don't need it. And then when you have a mooring right on the you know, either on the starboard side or port side, it's a good kind of a step to... Okay, so you step up, there's no door that opens up, right, so you yeah. step up, okay. Yeah. Over here, you always need a extra storage on a boat. So on both sides, you have these lockers, so you can put a, you know, your swim gear or snorkel gear, whatever you like, maybe even some extra lines. Yeah, and over here, same thing, you have underneath the helm seat on both sides, extra storage as well. Yeah. Then, that's the... Well, also, you have an electric bimini over here, so if it, if it is very, kind of like a sunny outside, then you can have this whole thing electrically go out. So if you want to step over there. So that covers the whole dining area and offers you plenty of shade throughout the day. Yeah? And you can actually have a, a sun cover kind of shore shade also in the bow, which you can have like poles. It becomes like we have over here. So you have these poles that go two on each side and then there's a canvas that goes there. So it offers you protection in the bow as well. Then, inside, so please, feel free to... So 
So the first thing you see is a master cabin. Again, this can all cost, be customized to customers liking. The wood color, the leathers, everything can be changed. So the windows are looking at the walkway where we were walking. Okay. And you have a, you have a full walk-in uh, shower with rain shower. And of course, it's a dry head. Then as you move back towards the, towards the midship, you'll be able to see the guest room, which sleeps too. And it also has its own, uh, own restroom with a shower. So, and then this leads right back over here to this section, as you can see. Let's get one other shot in the master. That's lovely. And then, a lot of people don't know, but that's not all. This boat also has not just a tender garage, but it also has a crew cabin. So, right underneath over here, you have a full crew cabin. So it has its own head, has its own bedroom, twin bed. It's not, it's not big, but it is, it is something that you don't usually find on a 50 foot. Amazing. And I'm seeing, okay, with well, the sink is where? Yeah. What is, what is this? So this sink uh, comes down. Is this a metal thing? Yes, correct. Okay. And then it has a shower head inside as well. So you can, you can shower over here. It has its own AC unit. <laughs> Not expect anything over right, there. Right, yeah. That's amazing. So a 50 foot with a garage and a crew cabin. And then tucks away. Amazing. Yeah. I like it. So this one also has its own underwater light. So. But now how would you get that out? This has to go down, right? So yeah, so this, uh, the swim platform goes down and then there are these rollers that go in to actually pop into these holes and this becomes like a track so it just slides off. Yeah. Okay, so you manually put the rollers in those... Uh... Right, you put the rollers and then you just slide it out. And when to get it back in, you basically, there's a winch at the front, you just clip it in, you push a remote and it pulls it back in. So our latest model is the Part of 38, which uh, won the European Powerboard of the Year 2020 award. The first year it came out, it's the first uh, part of 30, first part of center console that has outboard engines. This one has three, triple 300 Mercury engines. And this boat actually max speed around 43 knots, cruises around 35 knots. So come on on board. So here you have a, like a seating area which actually converts into a big sunbed so you can just push the button over here and this whole table comes down and you can put cushions on top and it's like a big sunbed over here so like a smaller smaller version of a part of 50 basically on a center over here you have the same thing you have a galley with a two burner cooktop you have a sink and underneath the sink, you have a little trash bin right over here. You have a fridge drawer where you can keep all your drinks cool. And some additional storage on the other side as well. You of course have your helm station. Same thing, it has a Simrad system so has also the uh, anchor locker camera so you can see how the anchor goes up and down all your controls over here as well pretty simple pretty straightforward you have th uh, three seats next to each other
and you of course have a bow lounging area over here so you can easily have a sit over here no problem cup holders on the cushions and same cleat system just like the part of 50 has so it's retracts when not needed and pops up when needed and also you have your traditional steps and one on that side as well so yeah both on the other side as well yeah okay. and then oh, i see a window right here looking yes, down there. Yeah. yeah so this same thing it sleeps for people just like part of 50 even though it's uh, significantly smaller yeah yeah, sleeps four, has a, has a nice master cabin, has a, a nice wet head. So in a door over there, yeah, that's a guest cabin. So you can, and also in the center area over there, you can stand up over there. So if you're six foot, then you can inside a smoke inside there. Oh, you can stand up in there? Okay, I'll take, I'll take a look. Yeah. Oh, okay, when we come over here. Oh, okay, that's the uh, window we're looking at it, right here. So if you'd like, then you can easily change your clothes over there, even if you're a grown-up. Huh. Let me turn the camera around so you can get an idea. So right now, I'm standing up, right here. And of course, you have the same mood lighting throughout the deck. This table opens up. Correct, yes. So you can have it open and then you can easily sit six people over here. Yeah. And then over here, the bottom 38 is actually the only one that has a oh. small gate. Okay. So it makes the yeah. boarding much easier. It's only on this one? Yes, correct, yeah. So, that is the part of 38. And then, this one's very simple to put down. You just flip them down. And once you have this whole dining area as well down, it's, you can imagine it being a big sunbed over here. Yeah. That's the part of 38. So, this is the part of that actually got everything started. It's the part of 43. When was that again? That was, uh, I would want to say, three years ago, three, four years ago, that first part of 43 came out. And today, it is one of the most, it is the most sold part of models that uh, Cantera de Bardo makes. So this has its own, like a smaller garage, as the part of 50 has. So it's, it's like a big storage over here. So you can put all your fenders over here, you can put your lines, your water toys, whatever you like. So you feel like a wave runner in there, right? You can't put a wave runner over there, but uh, you can put like electric. Oh, I see. Okay, no, it's not, yeah, it's not that. Yeah, yeah. But you can put like electric uh, wakeboards over here, okay. your sea bobs, you know, your snorkel gear, dive gear even. We have somebody who's a diver. Or you could use it for storage like this. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's a fantastic place to keep all these uh, toys. And yeah. this whole swim platform goes down. So it's a great place to kind of hang out at when on the water. Very nice. Yep. And then goes back down. So as you can see, there's a lot of things inside there. It, it can, it can fit. That's why I didn't know how deep it was when I was asking about yep. the way. Then I, yep. then I looked, I saw, okay, it's not that deep. So that. And then these raise up. Oh, yeah. So you can have these as kind of like a pillows in a two different modes. Yeah, lounging. Yeah. And then same thing with these, you can put these down as well. So they become. And then same thing with this table, as we saw on the part of 38, this opens up. 
and you have you know dining for six eight people no problem boom over here same thing these seats can be moved like that so now you can face forward when you're on the go nice and comfortable then right underneath over here you have another fridge so you just yeah you can move them as you wish yeah, so both sides you have fridge drawers yes. yeah then over here you have some storage some uh, trash bin area another fridge yeah and a grill and a sink so you have a two two uh, hole burner for cooking just like the 38 and the 50 no, let me ask you this, okay, like, yeah. okay, these have a burner, so like, what about like an actual grill, like, let's say yeah, a gas-powered grill? You can actually, you can put a grill, but what a lot of customers prefer doing is they put a, like a rod holder over here. Right. And then uh, you can put a grill over here, and all the fumes are kind of going out. So right. rather than having right. them over here, they can utilize this space as a serving area. And, and you know, burner grill is good because whenever you need to cook something on a pan or something, it's, 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 it's a convenient thing to have. Over here you have a helm station. Uh, this part is powered by uh, IPS 650s. It uh, max speed around 37 knots and uh, cruises at 32 knots. You have, again, your joystick controls, your light controls, everything over here. Your throttle controls, everything is simple and laid out the sound system you have this one also has a quick uh, a stabilizer so if you are in the rougher seas or in anchor and it will be choppier outside this will keep you nice and nice and steady yeah then in a bow area you can actually see the the canvas over here which is something that the 50 has also so it, again offers an additional area protect us from the sun you have a seating area right at the bow and again you have cup holders here as well and then as you can see you have pin lighting all around just like all other pardos and your side steps oh I can see again we have access right there yeah that's another light and that is your uh, straight ahead is a master cabin It's a very spacious, a lot of headroom, a lot of different storage areas. You have a microwave over here as well. Is there a fridge also inside? Th there is not on this one, but uh, you can put a fridge in, into inside as well. There's a dry head. So you have a rain shower over there. then you have a guest room down there and it has a wine cooler on your left hand side okay there's a wine cooler right there and again we have this area here where you can stand up and we're looking right there at the controls Yeah, so this is uh, the perfect boat for a family, family of four, family of three. It's a safe boat because it has like high gunnels, so safe for kids, easy to drive. Yeah. It's excellent, thank you. Yeah, sure. I love it, I think they're really beautiful boats. Oh, and price-wise, what are the prices of each of these? Prices really vary. It really varies based on the options that people choose. Okay, like as, we, as we've seen, let's say, yeah. in a ballpark. So this one is in a ballpark of uh, 800,000. 
and uh, again I mean you can really customize them and that's what Pardo is known for a lot of customization because they have their own shipyard and uh, they can do a lot of they can cater to customers demands basically so 800,000 for this and yes. what about for the other two that we saw yeah so uh, the 50 as it stands around 1.8 million okay 1.8 million for that and this one uh, around 675 as it is yeah. okay and this one is all new right this is a yes, smaller this, model so that's this is the third model they've made yes correct yeah but this is a brand new boat it, it was actually off loaded from the ship just four or five days ago before four or five days before the show started so yeah and same thing with this one so let me know you enjoyed this video by giving it a like and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you're kept up to date on other uploads for your boating pleasure.